Today's episode of Pots Outdoors comes to you from a place we visit often. You know, it seems the last couple of years we've been here at least one time a year, simply because Cherokee is literally one of the best places to fish in the entire eastern United States. Why? Well, they have their own stocking program. They're not limited to a lot of regulations like most of the states are. They're a private corporation, and because of that, they can stock as many fish as they want, and as quickly as they want, and as often as they want. So sure enough, we came to Cherokee, and the section you're about to see here is called Soco Creek, okay? If you've ever driven right through downtown Cherokee, you've driven by the casino, this is that same creek we have filmed at before, where it's right in front of the Harris Casino. The only difference is, this is not the same section. First cast. Yeah. Crushed it. Crushed. Crushed it. Like that. That was easy. Make sure you bend at the lake. Yeah. Oh. Very nice. That's how it's I didn't want to blow your back with that big, big ass rainbow. Ass. That's right. I like this. There it is. Ooh, oh, nice one. Nice. Good one, too. Is that going to hold it? Is that going to hold it? I hope not, right? I hope. Oh, yeah. Really Hopefully, a dog wants to do it. Yeah. You know what? Oh, that's not a rope. That's a Fire bait just, Fire bait. it's almost too easy. Yep. Even the guy behind that camera can catch <laughs> And that's saying a lot, too. Oh! Still got it. All morning long. Right now, what I'm using uh, is a little bit of garlic salmon egg. And the reason I like it is because the garlic smell is just unreal. So here's what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little piece of it out, kind of roll it into a little bit of a ball, and I'm gonna place it on my hook, which I'm using a number 12 bait holder so that I can use multiple different kinds of uh, bait. So now I'm ready. So right over there on the edge, there's a drop off, and the trout are kind of holding back up underneath of the bank. So what I'm gonna do is float up, go, cast upstream, and let it float right to the edge of that to see if I can get one out of there. All right, there goes garlic salmon egg. Yeah, it's a pretty good cast. We're laying right up underneath of there. You can see that there's some tree trunks and the, the bank kind of cuts underneath it. There seem to be a few fish hanging out right in that area right there. Oh, Pat, you got crushed. You got crushed, he crushed me. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about the setup that I'm using today so that everybody understands. I just like to fish and this is a different river for me. So I'm using three small BB shot, about 12 inches from my hook. Then I use a bigger shot right below my uh, slip bobber. And this is the reason I wanna keep the, the bait floats. So I wanna keep it on the bottom and using the bobber will allow me to watch me get a strike faster. All right, if you've never fished with the twins here, uh, you really haven't lived. Let's see what happens. Uh, usually the, the bobber goes down like that, underwater. Underwater. Did you get him? Well, of course. And you got him. We got a double. Oh, mine's off. Well, that's normal. Who's next? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mike, this is how you catch a fish. <laughs> you haven't got it in yet. He's coming. Get the net. That's what you're good for, net boy. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, that boy. I can't believe one right after another here in Cherokee. This is something that everybody needs to try. You know, we've been catching a lot of fish today here on Firebait, but today we're going to try this uh, peach garlic. If you look right here. So here's what I'm going to do. This one I left the lid on. 
I'm just gonna get a little piece like this. And I, like I said, I like to roll them up a little bit. Seems like they go better on the hook and just force my hook into the end of it. Molding it around my hook. There we go. Little peach garlic. Oh yeah, check out that baby. Beautiful. There it is. So all we did is we started at that Harris Casino and we basically drove up Highway 19 right past Santa's Funland and Zoo which many of you guys have seen before it's hard to miss that and we went into Happy Holiday RV Park sure enough what was sitting there the good old Cherokee fish stocking truck so we got out of our cars and we filmed them. We wanted to show you guys exactly where they stock. So you'll see them go to a bridge, and that's the bridge where you go right into this property right here. And they throw fish right off that bridge. Sure, some of them stay there, others scatter all over the place. And then we basically followed their truck all the way to the end of that RV park. And we watched them throw them in there just so we can film it, show you guys exactly what they do. And then we got the heck out of the way. Why? Because as you know, there's always people in this RV park, lots of them and those areas get hit tremendously and they get hit quickly and they get hit often. So we drove up the road even further and we just looked for places on the right side or this will be the left side of the road as you're leaving the area and driving away from that Harris Casino. And we pulled off, found a parking spot and started fishing. Now you'll see that first spot, a little bit more hidden. You know, there's plenty of pullouts on the side of the road. We walked in, we looked for an undercut bank and sure enough, garlic salmon egg fire bait choose to be absolutely dynamite we were catching fish on almost every cast up there and had a great time doing it then after about five fish it seemed like we uh, wore our welcome out and the trout stopped biting maybe we hooked them all released them all so we drove up the road a little bit further and right alongside the highway you'll see cars going by left and right i mean we're literally you could see us from the road pulled off and we saw two or three other cars in this area uh, and we had to wait our turn there were guys sitting in that hole catching fish so as soon as they left we hopped in and sure enough it was instant action now the guys use mostly two fire baits in this hole they use that same garlic salmon egg fire bait and they use that peach garlic fire bait and it was trout after trout after trout now as you can see this water is clear this is late in the day and uh, the Sun started to go down a little bit and as soon as it did the bite got better and better and better now if you'll watch the aerial view here You'll see that even in the winter and early spring, when it's a little bit cooler, things are not green, the bite is still good. Remember, Cherokee does one heck of a job stocking this section of river almost every single week of the year. I think there's only one or two weeks the entire year that this section doesn't get fish. That's why we were able to leave the stocking truck, find other areas, and heck, this could have been a spot they stocked a week ago or two weeks ago where fish just found their way into this deep hole. But sure enough, if you've got good bait, which was fire bait for us like we did and you venture a little bit out of downtown Cherokee I mean we're only two miles from that casino right now you can find excellent fishing serenity beautiful rainbow trout and that clean cool Cherokee water that keeps us coming back year after year Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. Caught this one here on fire bait. It's been a great evening. <laughs> great evening here in Cherokee. I'm going to kill this bastard. Great evening here in Cherokee. Caught this on fire bait.